Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is the number one weakness of Kawhi Leonard finally revealed. So that's the topic I'm going to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Content also be on the lookout for Dreamers Pro community and also be on the lookout for DreamersPro.com. So anyway, uh, this is going to be a tough uh, topic for me to shoot today. But as I said, I try to be, we try to be here on the channel as object objective as possible. And sometimes you got to call it like it is. I think that's the way you build respect um, from people in your audience when they see that, listen, you're, well, you're willing to, you know, um, give it to people straight, whether or not a certain player may be your favorite player but you got to tell people the truth so these are my kind of raw opinions on Kawhi Leonard and last night after watching that Boston Celtics game <clears throat> everything uh, became clear to me so let me just get into the topic here so anyway as y'all know for most of the people on this channel y'all know Kawhi Leonard is my favorite player right he's my favorite player in the NBA I think he's the best two-way player in all of basketball if we're just looking at somebody that can score the ball at a very at a, at a at a high level not the highest level but a high enough level like 25 26 points per game but also can defend at a high level when he wants to right i think he's the best player uh, in the nba when it comes to that if you look at his career accomplishments he's a multiple time all star uh he's an all star game mvp he's a two time finals mvp a two time nba champion um, he's two-time defensive player of the year, and he's also led the league in steals. Um, I think it was in 2017 or 2018, one of these years, he led the league in steals. So Kawhi Leonard is known uh, as one of the greatest players currently playing in, in, in the NBA. Some people have him number five, number four, number three, number two, number one, depending on who you are, right? Uh, it all depends. Now, to me, I think the year when we really saw Kawhi Leonard in his um, in all of his glory was that year that he had to run with the Toronto Raptors in the playoffs, right? That was the year when, for the first time, he was the man on the team. He wasn't the leader. They had uh, uh, um, Kyle Lowry out there, but he was the man. Like, there was no two ways about it. He was the number one option on a championship team, and he led those guys through all of those rounds. Like, he led them through the first round, second round, third, with, with a lot of adversity, right? Came up big, hitting buzzer beaters, hitting, hitting close game winning shots, you know, like um, crunch time buckets. He did that a lot, right? Went to the NBA finals and beat the Golden State Warriors who were championship team, that championship pedigree. Went out there and captured his title, averaged over 30 points per game in the playoffs, over nine rebounds per game, led the playoffs in points, rebounds, and steals. Had the third, third scoring highest output of any basketball player ever behind Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Just to show you how prolific he was in those playoffs but in those playoffs he was i mean if you look at Kawhi Leonard now and you look at him then it seemed like he, he he's a different person uh in the playoffs right he's a he's a very different person in the playoffs and he's much more aggressive in the playoffs right he you you, you can tell by his field goal attempts in the playoffs that he takes things to another level and he only kind of shows that side of him at that time in the year but apart from that you rarely see that from him now let me get into my kind of larger point that I'm trying to um, make about the guy. Kawhi reminds me of my favorite player of all time in Kobe Bryant. That's the reason I kind of gravitated to him, right? Kobe is the second generation of the Jordan uh, type of player. And Kawhi Leonard, let's say, is a third generation of that type of player. The fadeaways, the footwork, um, you know, the, um, going from east to west on the court to get their shots. You know, for, you know, um, um, great mid-range jump shooters, great jump shooters, period. Great uh, um, defenders, individual defenders, you know, that's the Kobe type of Jordan, um, prototype of, of, if you think of a basketball player and, um, you know, Kobe worked with him. So it kind of made me say, okay, if Kobe thought this dude was, um, legit, if he co-signed him, then he must be the man. So I was like, okay, that's why I kind of rocked out with Kawhi Leonard. However, there is a major difference between Kobe Bryant and Kawhi Leonard, and it has nothing to do with stats. Their difference is, or the difference is rather, is their mentality, right? Kobe was a way more aggressive player and person. I think all of us understand that very clearly. Kobe was the much more aggressive player in person. Kobe wasn't afraid of competition. I mean, a confrontation. He wasn't afraid of conf uh, confrontation. Kobe would go at his opponent's on the court you would see so many times on the court 
where Kobe was trash talking dudes, right? Because why? Dudes would try to trash talk him. It got to the point where Kobe would destroy guys so much on the court, physically and psychologically, that it got to a point where in the NBA, you wouldn't dare talk trash to him. It, it got to the point where he was so lethal on the court because of his play, because they knew if you even look at this dude the wrong way or say the wrong thing to him, you could set him off and he can have a 40, 50 point game on you like that, right? Kobe was feared, apart from just being respected, he was feared by his opponents because they knew he's not the dude that you want to piss off. I saw Kobe on numerous occasions not allow dudes to outscore him on, on the court. At a certain point, Kobe was like, listen, y'all want to win this game, but I'm going to let you know who's the who, who who's the man on this court right now. I don't care if you're having a 40-point game or, or you're, you're on route to a 50-point game. I'm going to outscore you. There's been very few times that I've seen Kobe Bryant get outscored by an opponent. Very few times that's happened where you can say this guy was the hottest guy on the court. You can think of Gilbert Arenas and some others. I've seen games with Monty Ellis. I've seen games with Damian Lillard. Go look at the last game Kobe was playing against. Not the last one. Damian Lillard, one of those games was so hot. By the end of the game, Kobe had like 47 points. Because Kobe was like, there's no way. We're going to leave this court and this dude is going to be feeling like somehow he got the best of me or somehow uh, he's on my level. Kobe was a different thing, right? And I'm, and I'm going to get to some stats uh, to, to, um, um, to, to, to prove it. Kawhi, on the other hand, I don't think takes I don't think he takes the game that serious to that level. I don't think Kawhi Leonard get, goes into the, the 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 chess. I think Kawhi Leonard is playing checkers out there when it comes to basketball. Meaning he's doing his thing, but he's not really trying to humiliate the other guy. He's just doing his thing. That's really what it is. If that guy gets 30 on 30 in game, 40 on the game, Kawhi doesn't seem to be bothered. He just seems to be doing his thing. There's sometimes you see him try to go back and forth for guys, uh, but he rarely does that. He rarely does that. Kawhi Leonard, I've noticed that in some fourth quarters, he's just not aggressive. He's just not aggressive enough, to be quite honest with you. He puts up good numbers. He has great efficiency, but he's not as aggressive <clears throat> aggressive as the Kobe's of the world, right? He's he has the skills to do it, but he's not as aggressive. And let me guy, let me let me illustrate why I, why I say this to you guys. Do y'all know that Kawhi Leonard in his career has only scored 40 points about 5 or 6 times in his career? Think about that. In about 8 or 9 years, Kawhi Leonard has only scored 40 points about 5 or 6 times. I think he's done two or three of them in the playoffs because in the playoffs he becomes very aggressive that's when he does it right but it gets to the point where you're like now trying to turn on the switch if you're always in that mentality you don't need to wait for the playoffs to do it you can do it on any given night Kawhi seems to wait for the playoffs i don't know why kobe bryant has scored 40 over 40 points 139 times 100 in 39 times Kobe has scored over 40. I think Kobe at one point scored 40 points for like four, eight straight games. Kobe, it's not that Kawhi can't do that. It's that Kobe is his mentality. He's so aggressive that he's always ready to go off. Let me point out an even more staggering stat to you. Do you know that Kobe in his 20-year career has averaged... Over 20, uh, has attempt, uh, he's averaged over 20 plus attempts from the field. I'm talking about field goal attempts for the, uh, from the field. He's done that 13 times in his career. Kobe's averaged at least 20 shots per game. He's done that for 13 years in his career. Michael Jordan has done that, has attempted more than 30 shots a game, more than 20 shots a game, 12 times in his entire career. 12 times Jordan has averaged in a season at least 20 shots per game. Playing with Scottie Pippen and some of these other guys. Jordan, like, come on, you knew what you knew what you were going to get with Jordan. Do you know that Kawhi Leonard in his entire basketball career, as we speak, has never attempted more than 20 shots per game? In his entire career, Kawhi has never attempted more than 20 shots per game. That's crazy to me. 
that tells you that he's not aggressive enough. Now, some people may say, but listen, Kawhi Leonard is an all-around player and he needs to, you know, get other guys involved. Okay, Kobe and Jordan were doing that while averaging close to six assists per game. If I look at Kobe's career uh, um, assist, he averaged 4.7. If I look at Jordan, his career assist, he averaged 5.3. So what does it have to do with anything? Jordan was still getting his teammates involved while average while attempting 20 plus shots per game. So it has nothing about, oh, I need to get my teammates involved. It's about being more aggressive, more consistently. Last night with that Celtics game, I don't know if it has something to do with this substitution pattern, keeping out for longer, keep, keeping him out for longer stretch, stretches of the game. But Kawhi Leonard is not, he's not aggressive enough, in my opinion. It's not about scoring 40 a night. It's about making sure that you're every night, every time you walk off the court, there are no more bullets left in your gun. In your, in your, in this, um, in this, um, not your literal gun, but you understand what I'm saying? You're leaving everything on the court. And sometimes I see Kawhi, like, once he hits 25, 26, he's, he's good. He's good. And for me, I just wish he was more offensive. Uh, he was more aggressive because he has the efficiency to do it. It's not like a if Kawhi Leonard starts shooting more, all of a sudden his percentages are going to drop dramatically. He's shooting close to 50. He's shooting 50% from the field this season. He's shooting 38% from the three. So it's not like as if he's not an efficient shooter, but he needs to be more efficient. Now, let me read to you his playoff numbers. In the playoffs, he becomes a different player. Last season in the playoffs, he was averaging 20.6 shots a game. He was scoring 28 points per game. But his field goal percentage was 49. So it's not like as if it's, it, it dropped. The only thing that dropped was his three-point percentage. The year prior with the Toronto Raptors, he averaged 20 shots a game, 20.7 shots a game. And his field goal percentage was 49%. He shot 38% from the three, 88% from the free throw line. He did that in a 24-game stretch. So it's a, it's a good sample size. And my question is, why doesn't he do it enough now? I think that's the number one thing about Kawhi. Because if you look at his game, he has a very good game. He can play offense. He can play defense. He has great shots. He had, he knows how to pick his spots, but he just is not aggressive enough. That's the, the key difference with him. And I wish he was a little bit more aggressive because if he does it enough, it becomes part of his nature. If you do something enough, it becomes your nature. And to wait until every year in March to turn it on, when you have games that you can win in the regular season, and you're letting a lot of games go. You're letting a lot of dudes just outscore you on the court. To me, I just don't think it's a good look. But in my opinion, um, I think that's the biggest problem. And as a Kawhi Leonard fan, it pains me to say it. But it's something I've been thinking about. And yesterday, the, last night, just came to a head. And I said, listen, I got I to gotta talk about it anyway. So what I want to know from you guys is, do you agree with me that Kawhi Leonard's lack of aggression on the offensive end may be his biggest weakness? Or do you think it's something else? Or do you think it's no big deal? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified uh, whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Catch you guys on the next episode.